we're still we're still in orchestra. We're still working on these pieces. You've seen like the crazy week. I basically canceled orchestra last week because I had three concerts in um, in in one week. We've got a couple more orchestra rehearsals left, so I wanted to show like the process as we're getting closer to the concert because this will be the concert vlog. Last night was Halloween and the first clarinetist was out. So the first clarinetist became me. All right, uh, Schumann, please. We're gonna rip through the whole thing. Yeah. All right. great rehearsal. I I ended up getting there as per usual really really early like so early that the church wasn't even unlocked yet and I walked over with one of the French horn players and we decided well it's locked we're an hour early we have enough time to get food dinner would be great what a novel idea eating dinner before a seven o'clock rehearsal there's this little vegan place literally right next door called life alive we had like this whole conversation and we sat together and we had this lovely meal together and then as we're walking out he's like what's your first name again <laughs> it's like i'm celine what's what's your name <laughs> and like we know each other from like playing in other gigs i just am really bad with names and i think he is too <laughs> today is tuesday and it's my teaching day and i'm actually practicing for another concert that i have this coming weekend and then the orchestra concert is happening next weekend so it's like i've had a concert multiple concerts every weekend and it just like never ends one of the reasons why i took this orchestra gig it's not because i get paid because i don't get paid for this but it's because i get to play in jordan hall <laughs> Jordan Hall is one of the most gorgeous venues you could ever play in, in Boston. It is smaller than Symphony Hall, but it is just as good, if not better, especially for chamber music, like smaller groups it's really good for. Orchestra, it's gorgeous. Um, you can hear everything, So, because we practice in like the basement of a church with like low ceilings. The, the sound re doesn't really go anywhere. With Jordan Hall, like, you just send it. Like, you could play, like, half of a note and the person in the back row can hear you. Jordan Hall is located inside of the New England Conservatory, which is where I went to school. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 9.15 a.m., I was in there rehearsing with the orchestra, and every Tuesday and Thursday, I was in there at 9 o'clock rehearsing with the wind ensemble. So I know Jordan Hall very well, and I have not played in Jordan Hall since before the pandemic. And so this is gonna be my first time in Jordan Hall in like three years and I am beyond stoked to like be able to come back and play not only at the place that I went to school but in one of the best concert halls in the world. It's not even five o'clock and already the moon is this high. I hate the time change. I used to start these vlogs outside of rehearsal and you used to be able to see me and now you can't even see me. So like, what's the point of me even speaking? I don't know. This is our last rehearsal at the church. We changed the clocks. It is now dark when I get here. Blows, but whatever, it is what it is. Welcome to winter, even though it's 75 degrees out. Oh, there she is. Hmm, nice. All right, I guess I'll walk over to rehearsal. I'm super early as always, but at least I have a parking spot.
code has been set. Prepping with Sarge is here. Hi, Sarge. There's only one thing left to do. And that is practice. Today I am not at work because of the holiday and I have a concert this weekend that I really need to practice for. You've seen like all of my concerts this fall and it has been bonkers, okay? And this concert in particular has kind of been put on the back burner since it's the last concert of like my big fall. It's actually not, I have more after this, but this was just been put on the back burner because it was like the last one. I need to practice my part because honestly, I've been playing the first part almost as much as I've been playing my part. As I mentioned, I'm playing second clarinet, but I've been playing the first part pretty frequently because the first clarinetist has missed just about as many rehearsals as I have. We are both really great professional players, so I'm not worried about it, but I got a little worried because I was in rehearsal on Monday and it did not go so well. We are also doing Schumann Symphony number no. four, in case you forgot, and also Barber Symphony number no. one. Samuel Barber, um, he's most famous for writing Adagio for strings. Um, and that's what everybody, if, like, if you've seen Platoon or like any other movie that uses it, you probably know it. The first symphony is fantastic and epic, and if you haven't seen me react to it, go do so. I need to, I need to, I need to practice. So I'll get right back to you. Like you were the king of cheese. All right, this is hard. it so hard is it's a total tongue twister for the fingers. Well that's a lot of stuff to look at. Oh fuck. The sad thing is you can't even hear that because there's so much brass. My mind today is just like, nah, because I have a lot to do this weekend. What I wanna do is a little bit of yoga and meditation before I start my day because it's like the meditation when I'm like in it um, that is really beneficial for me. The meditation journal is out. You know what I just did. Spirituality and music kind of go hand in hand. When I play music, I like transcend out of my like human body and it's i can't quite describe it somebody a composer has written something that they want to emote and then it's your job as the performer to interpret that and emote said thing but you're also putting yourself into i can't i'm really bad at explaining things 
things. I have realized that I'm the kind of person who will plan out minute by minute everything that I want to do during the day and then I'll do them and I'll stick to the schedule and then I'll realize that I never made any time to actually eat and nourish my body. But I do have one more meal prepped Hold on. meal prep saving me once again. for my Uber, it's too early to be ready for a concert. But I think they like to take pictures of the orchestra. Um, so that's why. It's like 9.15 and the concert's at three. That's six hours away. The only thing that didn't go really well was live streaming. Um, apparently there was a glitch on the live stream link and so I was gonna put in some clips from the live stream of our concert but that's not gonna happen this time around unfortunately. If I figure it out it'll be down in the description. Uh, but yeah, until then I will see you in my next video. Thanks for coming along. If you made it this far put some music notes down in the comments. Okay, bye.